24-year-old Michael Wilcom is at Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center so that doctors can fix his heart. Michael has a defective pulmonary valve that is not pumping blood properly from his heart to his lungs. When a patient has a dysfunctional pulmonary valve, uh, his or her heart has to work a lot harder. If the valve's blocked, the heart has to work a lot harder to pump blood through a blocked valve. And if the valve leak, it leaks, the heart becomes much less efficient. Every time the heart pumps blood forward, half of it comes back, so the heart's working twice as hard. The condition limits Michael's activities and can cause serious, potentially fatal arrhythmias or irregular heartbeats. These are the scars of both of my heart surgeries. Michael has had his valves replaced twice with open heart surgeries. I don't know too much about the surgery when I was three years old, but the one 2001, that, that was a lot of work. When these folks, usually in childhood, have placement of these valves, these valves last about 10 years. And so by the time many of these patients are young adults, they require uh, repeat operations. Some of these patients will have four or five operations in a lifetime to replace the pulmonary valve. But now, for the first time, doctors at UCLA can offer many patients like Michael a new procedure that can replace his pulmonary valve without open heart surgery. And make both the obstruction and the leakage go away. It's called a melody valve, a bioprosthetic valve sewn into a thin wire mesh tube or stent. Here is Michael's new pulmonary valve. Doctors Levy and Abelhassen carefully crimp the stent and valve down over a deflated balloon and slip the device into a catheter for delivery through the leg vein into perfect position in Michael's heart. We essentially use the already existing anatomical architecture to get our devices to where they need to go. And therefore, we're able to replace a valve through a small nick in the leg or in the neck as opposed to cutting the chest open. Once in place, the balloon is inflated, pushing the wire stent open. Here, the balloon is being deployed in Michael's heart, pushing the stent open. Perfect. The balloon is then removed, and Michael's new valve is working perfectly. Absolutely no dye comes back from the pulmonary artery to the heart. The valve works perfectly. You can see the blood flow spilling out in both directions before the procedure and afterward flowing properly just one way from the heart to the lungs. Michael's entire procedure takes less than two hours. The stent holds, holds the valve in place and then the valve starts to dysfunction as a valve. And as you just saw in the case with Michael, it functions immediately. Oh, actually, I feel a lot better. I told my doctor right when I came out of the anesthesia I could already feel a difference, yeah. which is amazing. I have a lot more energy yeah. already. And unlike open heart surgery, where recovery can take weeks, Michael is almost fully recovered and ready to go home the next day. Our objective is to give him as full a life as possible, not just in length. It's also very important to improve the quality of life of patients, allow them to realize their dreams. Michael and patients like Michael can, with the technology we have, live very long and very happy and healthy lives.